Hey everyone, Pupsker Gotcha here, and today in AFK Journey, I wanted to talk about wishlists. If you go to your mythical house, mystical house, if you go to the Noble Tavern, when you pull up your all hero recruitment banner and your epic recruitment banner, you have hero wishlists. And the wishlists are as follows. You have your hero choice wishlist right here, which I'd recommend generally putting in a lot of the characters that you plan to use and upgrade a ton. So something like Thorin, Tamisia, Vala, Cecia, and ya boy, Smokey and Mirky. Pretty good. I could also throw in Hewen since I've already gotten her pretty leveled up but it's always up to you. A lot of characters which are really strong and good are these five here. People really like Shakir. Da -da -da. Going on, people also really like Iron to upgrade. And Hewen is pretty much the best healer, I think, late game right now. So she's also a really good healer. A lot of the other characters are really good. I think uh, Carolina has good alt CC freeze. Other characters have good points, like Igor jumps around and straight up is hard to kill, revives, heals, not revive, sorry, heals and does AoE. Shakir is just a good assassin. Brutus is nice to have at least one of because he has an alt where you go invulnerable, but he's also good to upgrade if you like him. Rowan's good to have one of because his ult gives everyone a lot of energy, so it's just kind of like you use Rowan, quickly get his ult popped, and then everyone else ults, but... Up to you, up to you. Iron's good because uh, Iron, Iron, ah, blah, blah. good ult, AoE, CC, pulls people in, good damage overall. Reese is decent enough damage, but uh, ultimate is AoE physical, so it just kind of goes, shoots a lot. I don't know enough about Atalanta, but I don't hear a lot of great things, so I don't know. I haven't seen people use her. Uh, Granny Danny's a good enough tank for Wilder. Probably not as good as Thorin or something else, but hey, good enough. Probably wouldn't max her out, but good. Hewen, really strong, one of the better healers, along with Smokey and Mirki. Really good Mauler healer, and then really good Wilder healer. Level them both up depending, and I want to eventually max them out, but in due time. You are in this game slowly guaranteed to max people out in time, so it helps. Always make sure your 30 hero recruitment is probably on characters you want to max out. If you didn't know, through daily login rewards, I'll quickly show those, you can get every single character unlocked in the game. If you check out your all heroes available, by day 22, you unlock all base uh, A rank heroes. And once every week, you unlock a random S rank hero. So you see this week, I got Hewen. That next, I got Granny Danny, which is why she was legendary rank. In another seven days, I'll get another random hero. And then in another uh, amount of days, I think, it just gives you that dude, and then that dude, and then that dude. I know it says one random one, but I'm pretty sure it just gives you this dude. I don't know, I th is he a celestial one? Am I crazy? Is he even a real hero? We may never know. I'm like, is that guy that guy? I think uh, like every month you get Dional. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So maybe don't go out of your way to pull for Dional. Dional. I know that overall, I think Burial's the worst. Uh, Celestial and Hypogene. Rainer is really good. Scarlet is good. And I want to assume Dionel. Dionel is also really good, but keep that in mind. Now looking at our regular wish list, because the regular wish list here is different than the epic recruitment wish list. So. This wish list, you can choose both A and S rank characters to level up and kind of guarantee on your pulls, okay? Oh, you, little male, you got one of the four, that's not one. Okay, so you fully, slowly pull all of the Hypogeans and all that, okay, and the Celestials. It's just a, such a prank, why'd they put the one guy's face? And daily reminder for Stargaze, you also have guarantee. I'm gonna be throwing your boy Rainer in here. You only throw one at a time, so keep that in mind. Now, back to all hero recruitment. For the wish list, you get a variety of A and S rank uh, guarantees. So if you pull S ranks, it's gonna be one of these. If you pull A ranks, it's gonna be one of these. For Light Bearer, Tamisi is really good for a tank and uh, like AOE off tank tank. She goes around, she disrupts really good, right? Really good. <laughs> Next. We have Vala, who's a very strong assassin. She shoots AoE range, and then her ability, she'll either shoot or go in and assassinate the target. Really strong. 
I don't know much about Atalanta right now. I think Cassidy's also good. It's just these ones are preferred. You want to try to get at least one Rowan early enough on because using Rowan's ultimate's really good and it can push you through early levels pretty fast. So I'd recommend trying to get at least one Rowan, but you do eventually guarantee every single character. So, I mean, could be worse, right? As for A ranks, I've messed up mine a little bit. So I have a high level... Lucius, whatever. A lot of people recommend Corrin. Corrin's good for, as a warrior, damage, AoE, good little bit of disruption. He also jumps to teammates and like shields them a little bit, so pretty good. And he's good on a lot of bosses. Merrily is similar, but she's just a light bearer marksman. So she's good at shooting from a range, jumping around, doing physical damage and not dying. So very strong and she's recommended highly on a lot of bosses. Everyone else is kind of okay. Like Faye's an okay support, but you have better choices. Let's see, Walker is pretty decent. It does close range shotgun type damage, range of two. Decent enough, good on some bosses, but not like preferred. Lu Vol Valen, no, no, no. Valen can be really nice to pop off his ult and do a lot of uh, damage in one spot but I don't think he's preferred overall. Same with Merrily, Muriel, sorry. She's really good and her ult can pop off and do a lot of damage. She's just not preferred over these two. Lucius, I also like. Ult is a AoE shield and he's a good tank, shielding tank for Light Bear. Just not as good as these two for damage and like support damage. It is what it is. For Mauler, I would just straight up recommend upgrading in Smokey and Mirky and then upgrading Shakir, which is so far what everyone recommends from what I've seen. Uh, Brutus is really good to at least get one of. If you want to go more for Brutus, go for it, but I don't think he's like the best. He's more situational. I think this is overall best. Reese is good damage, Brutus is good damage, and I mean, Lamont's a good tank, but you just have better options, so you don't really pick them, right? Because overall, Coco, or Coco and Odie are very good, okay? Odie, insane, good marksman, good damage. I think uh, magic damage marksman, or is he classified as a mage? No, he is a managed damage marksman. Okay. And then Coco is really good for lifesteal, damage reduction, and da like damage type buff. So she's really good, right? Increase haste during battle. Oh my God. Lots of, lots of buffs. If we're talking about uh, the four stars, Sessa cool assassin, just not better than other ones. You want to try and have at least one Kruger. So Kruger can ult and de decrease the enemy's physical defense. Very good at killing bosses. Nah, I don't know enough about Sautrana. I think she's decent enough if you pull her, but she's just nothing amazing. And she's a, like a melee damage mage. Could be better, probably wouldn't recommend. Entendre is a pretty decent tank. I used her for a while since I ended up pulling so much of her before I fixed up my wish list a little bit. So like, she's still good. I'll still use her when I need her, but I just splash her in and out. Overall, you'd still obviously rather have these two. Now, Wilder. I don't know much about Granny Danny. I like her, she's good. And she has an ult that CCs, stuns people in place. So she's actually pretty decent. And then we also have ya boy, uh, Brian. Summons Ilona to deal damage to the current target and fight alongside. I just, uh, I don't see a lot of people using Bryon. Don't think his damage will beat any uh, other marksmen generally. You just have like Odie as a better marksman. You have Asesia for a better marksman. You have Merrily for like a better marksman. So I just don't think people bother with Wilder. He's a good marksman though overall, I think if you want to use him, but a lot of people also like using uh, Iron for his uh, rogue CC damage, right? I think honestly both of the wilder ones are good. I don't uh, I don't discriminate too much between this one and then the other one, but I think it's just these two are better. So this is the recommended. And then people recommend Arden for alt, a lightning, right? Recovers energy for himself as a hero. So good damage, AoE, some buffs, nice stuff. They recommend Damien also, good heals, buffs, etc. support. Damien can't die, so what Damien does is kind of summon inventions, so he's a very niche and weird support like that. Either way, good uses overall. Good uses buffs. So, that's what people prefer there. Let's see, Paris is also good situationally. Good mage, does a good uh, AoE explosion, so I leveled her up a bit. And she's meta on some bosses, so she can be used pretty well. I don't think Laika's as meta. She's decent enough, but just not as good, but... Good damage, and I like her general buffs, so yeah. And Kafra, I just can't be fucked with using him. Jesus Christ, there's too many other good warriors. Kafra's trash, right? It's like, who cares? So, Cecia and Thorin are really good here. Cecia is good damage for bosses, good damage for AFK, and good burst with her ult. Very strong, a lot of people recommend her. 
Thorin's really good because he has passive is he revives. He can take a lot of damage and do a lot of damage and debuff the enemy. So pretty strong overall. You look at his ult and it's like Thorin charges up, launching a strike, returning multiple damage received, right? Drains amount of energy, energy revives himself. Normal, okay, normal attack skills, recover energy, energy recovers further, Thorin takes damage for ally, right? Like it's good. Drains HP from an enemy again when casting ultimate. Good general tank, tank buffs, right? Like, yeah, good. Igor is still good, jumps around, does damage, kind of hard to kill, good uh, general damage with the alt graves explode. I just, uh, I don't know, I can't build Igor, don't care enough for him, but probably better for PvP, less for PvE. Can't confirm for sure. And then Carolina, Carolina is also good, also very strong. Her alt is like AoE CC cold, like ice damage, so probably a good idea and better off for PvP if you can get her alt quickly like upgraded. Very good though, very good overall. And then for these ones, I actually don't love the Graveborn uh, epics. I don't like them at all. Sylvina's good to assassin. She jumps over to the enemy backline, but the issue is enemies can also just focus her sometimes. So sometimes she'll just die too quick and makes me sad, but she is really good. Viperion, pretty good AOE magic uh, stands back. So try him out, pretty good overall, good damage. I just haven't used him enough yet to have a healthy opinion on him, but hey, haste battle upgrade. Uh, lastly, we have Nairu, who's a support, Graveborn, doesn't heal that well, can uh, revive people, might get better later on, don't like him though. Salazar, Salazar is also decent enough as a rogue, like situationally, but probably shouldn't go out of your way to upgrade Salazar. Either way, that is currently what my Graveborn team is. I straight up do not, or like Graveborn wishlist, I just do not like the epic wishlist right now. Because, you know, it could just be better, but... That is the general, I want to say, meta wish list. Once new heroes, uh, season one is coming up, Alsa and Soren, once they come out, the wish list will change up a little bit and you'll probably want to pull them. But we'll have to see if there's more balance changes coming up or if they just add the two heroes. So if they do add the two heroes, maybe splash them in if they're meta and splash someone out depending on what you have. So let me know what you think. If you think there are better, worse wish list is. I think this shit's pretty stereotypical as a wish list. Uh, again, like you can swap out everything, but I think I copied a lot of this from Pride Win a while back, and then I just swapped out some things here and there as I got it. Because as you can see, I was leveling some other stuff before using it a little bit, and I just like, you know, using it when I can. So this is probably pretty, pretty normal. Most of it was copied from Pride Win a couple, couple days ago, and I don't think I swapped it out too much. So it might be like a straight up one to one copy as the current Pride Win one. So keep that in mind. Check out like Pride Win, pretty decent uh, AFK Journey wiki to use in general. But yeah, let me know what you think of the wish listing, upgrading, and you can judge my general comps team if you want right now. I've gotten a little unlucky because I haven't properly focused upgraded like one Cecia or one OD. So I have like a lot of splash levels, but meh, who cares? That's my team. Judge it, judge me, judge everything. Sub like, and let me know what you think. Cheers.